Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at a pen that I've heard a lot about and apparently got re got re-released a couple years ago in Japan. And I don't know if it's discontinued again or not, but this is the Rotring 600 ballpoint pen. And if you look around on eBay, they for the old versions they run like a couple hundred dollars. Now the the version I got and as you can see it on the the packaging. Maybe you can see it on the packaging. It says made in Japan. So I think this is I mean like this is this was advertised as the newer version of it and it was not 600 it wasn't like 2 or 300 dollars. They ran about 30 bucks. So I figured 30 to 35 bucks. So I figured I would take a look at it. Now I'm kind of curious what the difference is. Cuz okay. This is according to the packaging a Rotring 600. Now I have a Rotring Rapid Pro that I picked up a little while back. So let's compare. Okay, there is a difference. Um, the Rapid Pro is longer and so there's that. Okay, so this is the oh wow it feels pretty good. The Row Train 600. Wow, I'm writing awfully bad. And ball point pin. Alright. So it feels pretty good to write with. And it feels relatively solid. It's all metal. And where does it unscrew? Okay. There we go. So it looks to take a pretty standard refill. This looks like just a looks like a Parker refill. Um, let me grab something and we'll test it real quick. All right, grab the refill out of a Parker jotter, and in my case, this is a Monte Verde refill. Look the same size. Alright. So that works pretty good. Pro Tring 600 with Monta Verde refill. Okay. So it takes those refills no problem kind of a cool little pen. I can see why people I can see why people were disappointed why it was gone. At least this is assuming that assuming that the the Japanese version the, the Japanese I don't want to say reprint reissue maybe assuming the Japanese reissue of the pen is comparable to the original it's a nice size. I mean, I like the size of it. And it feels pretty solid. It has um it has some knurling right here where you hold it. And it's actually not it's a good feel in your hand. Hmm. Anyway, it's kind of a neat pen. If you've been on the lookout for one of these and you want to give one of the Japanese editions of it a shot you can just look on check on eBay I'll include some information in the description on what I searched for to find it and just don't get one of the super expensive ones get like one of the thirty or forty dollar ones hmm. it does write pretty good and I like the size of it it's like it's it's shorter, it's not a lot shorter than the Rapid Pro, but it's noticeable. 
anyway, let me know what you think. If y'all have any of the original ones, or if you've tried the original one and tried the Japanese one, let me know if there's any big differences. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all have an excellent day.